Hi everybody, welcome to my wood shop and today we are going to turn a thing from a burl. It has a lot of rot in it on this piece here. I cut it in half, then took and glued a piece of black walnut in it and what I'm going to do is split it in the middle. I saw some gentleman do this on YouTube about a year ago, maybe a little longer. I don't recall his name so I can't give him credit other than to say he did it it's not my idea but I have did one before it turned out really good and uh, a lady puts it by her sink and takes off her rings when she washes her dishes puts it in there puts the lid on it on and when she's done she takes it away from the sink takes her rings out puts it back on and the reason she does that, well, yes, she dropped a ring down the sink and it was not a happy situation with her husband. So, um, we're going to call this a ring holder. If somebody uses it for that, so be it. All right, let's get started. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to turn this between centers. All right, we have the piece mounted on the lathe. I wanted to have the center black walnut running as true as I could not worried so much about the outer pieces and I'm just going to take my bowl gouge and really quick just knock the corners down and kind of see what I can get for a rough shape I know it's not going to be a very big piece um, I had thought about possibly hollowing it out and making it into a Christmas ornament but well we'll see what the wood says that's how you come up with what you get a lot of times anyway is the wood so <laughs> all right i'm going to start out with a 5 8 inch bowl gouge
I don't know if you can catch this in the camera or not, but I'm starting to get a crack in the wood right here, and it's starting to vibrate a little unusually. So, hmm, I'm going to mount it into a chuck and try to split it. Hopefully the piece doesn't fly apart. Um, boy, oh boy. You know, they say if you get a vibration, it's time to stop. But I'm going to take a chance and see what I can get out of this stupid thing. Piece of wood. Wood's never stupid. Only the person turning it. Okay, we have our piece mounted in the chuck. Brought our tailstock up for safety. And we're going to give it a quick spin. And hopefully, hopefully it doesn't fly apart. We'll see what we got here. All right, let's go. see this crack in the wood right here it there's no telling how deep that goes that's the problem you get when you work around burls plus there's a minor defect in the wood right here and a defect in the wood here and here where these two pieces joined originally so I really mm, what I should do, and experience and time have taught me, I should try to put some CA in there and just see if the CA can strengthen the, the spot up. So, What I'm doing now is using stick fast CA, the thin, and I'm putting it into the cracks to see how far it flows in. CA glue is a wood turner's best friend, sometimes, and sometimes it's a nightmare. If somebody could make a CA wood glue that didn't stink, they'd have a million dollar product. Alright, that's... All I'm doing here is using my sawdust to act as a burnisher. I don't want the glue to fly off and get all over my face shield.
All right, that came away pretty cleanly. I'm impressed. I'm now going to give that a quick sanding on the outside. If I can find my sandpaper. Because this has such a nice finish on it already, I'm going to start out with some 400 grit sandpaper and see what that does. Let's see. Oh, very nice. Very nice. You got a little bit of rough right there. I don't know if I can get that out with 400 or not. It was kind of deep. And. Mm. <laughs> All right, well. That yeah, looks pretty good. One more time. Come in here now with my three eight inch bowl gouge. Put a hollow in the bottom of this.
Uh, that looks pretty good. My, mm, well, oh well. Good enough. And now we'll put in the other end and see if we can blow ourselves up. By that I mean if the glue doesn't hold.
too.